is in Silver Falls State Park. Um, this is the South Falls at Silver Falls. Um, quite a dramatic location. This is the first time I'd ever been to this location, and um, to be quite honest with you, I was literally overwhelmed uh, by this location. It was just beautiful. Um, and then as the light started to change, uh, we got these great uh, beams of light that started to show up, and um, so I tried to quickly move into place and, and frame a shot that uh, that took advantage of those light beams. Uh, most of the focus at this point um, in the afternoon, I was I was using a 17 tilt shift lens. Uh, this lens um, is usually my go-to lens. Um, so that's why it was on the camera, but um, I was struggling with the shot. Um, this is this is actually what I was capturing with at the seven uh, with the 17 tilt shift, and uh, I was struggling with the shot because uh, it, it just the waterfall was sort of getting lost in the in the um, the brightness of the of the sun coming over the tops of the trees, and um, I'd actually. Um, struggled with this and it just was it didn't feel like it was the right focal length um, so I, I switched and at the, at the very last minute I pretty much switched to the 24 tilt shift and that is what this framing is here um, so you can see I was able to shift the lens down a little bit um, and oh, cut off the top of the trees and hence reduce some of the, the light um, thus creating a, a darker image but at least um, it wasn't so overwhelmingly bright at the top of the image. Uh, I like this image and, and I think there's a possible uh, image here but I think in this case this illustrates well you know 17 millimeters versus 24 millimeters um, ideally the, they're identically the same lens as far as quality is concerned um, but this gives you an idea of the difference um, in focal length uh, between 17 and 24.